Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question using metric conversions. Here's our question. This question has three parts. Here is part A. Ben walked a distance of 1.2 kilometers. Alice walked a distance of 0 0.85 or 85 hundredths of a kilometer. Walter walked a distance of 50 meters. What is the distance in meters that Ben walked? Show or explain how you got your answer. So I'm going to ask you to pause and solve part A now. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So in this part A, we're asked, what is the distance in meters that Ben walked? So we're only going to focus on Ben and what he walked, and we need to determine it in meters. So we're given that he walked 1.2 kilometers, and we need to take kilometers and rewrite it in meters. So we're going to convert these metric units. So in order to do that, we need to understand, and there's this fun little um, word phrase to help you remember, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So what it is, is right here in the middle, we have our meter. And as we go this way, it is a larger measurement, so kilo means a lot, versus milli is small, but there are many milliliters in a kiloliter. So when you're talking about meters, this is to the left, thinking of a number line, because the number of kilos is smaller than the number of milliliters for an equivalent amount. So we are focused on the fact that every time we go this way, we're getting larger by 10. So each jump from a kilo to a hecko to a deca to a meter to a deci to a centi to a milli. And if we're going in this way from a milliliter to a kilogram, we're going to divide for each step by 10. So metric is all base 10. And now let's focus on what we need for this problem. We are given that he went in kilometers. We know 1.2 kilometers. And we need to convert this to meters. So we're going from this location on our King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk to this location. And if we look at that, we've done three jumps of 10. When you're multiplying 10 times 10 times 10, that's 1,000. So we need to take 1.2 kilometers and multiply it by 1,000 to give us the number of meters. When we multiply by a factor of 10, this is 1,000, we have three zeros, we're going to move this decimal point three spaces to the right. So one space here to the right of the two, and then I need to add two zeros, which will give me 1,200 meters. So Ben walked 1.2 kilometers, which is equivalent to 1,200 meters for part A. Here's part B. Same information given in the previous problem, part A. Part B, how many more meters? Did Ben walk, then Alice walked? Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause and solve part B now. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So now we want to focus on how many more did Ben walk than Alice. And we're going to compare. So it's the same information. Ben is there and we want to focus on how much more Ben did than Alice. So we know that Ben, from our previous problem, walked 1,200 meters, and this, be careful, part B is asking us to compare meters. So we've always already taken the 1 and 2 tenths kilometers and converted it to 1,200 meters for Ben. Now we need to go up and look at Alice. So Alice walked a distance of 85 hundredths of a kilometer. So we're comparing in meters, so we need to do the same thing for Alice's that we did for Ben's measurement. So we're going to take are 85 hundredths of a kilometer, and we're going to multiply it by a 1,000 to go to meters. So that means I'm going to move my decimal point three spaces to the right to make it larger because I'm multiplying by a 1,000. So when I do that, I have two digits already here, and I need to add a zero, giving me 850 meters for Alice. Now we're not done because the question asked, how many more meters did Ben walk? So I'm going to subtract Alice's 850 meters from Ben's 1,200 meters, and 0 subtract 0 is 0. 
Now I need to borrow because I cannot take 5 away from 0. So I'm going to cross out my 12, make it 11, and I've borrowed my 1. 10 subtract 5 is 5. 11 subtract 8 is 3. So at the end, we can find out that Ben walked 350 meters more than Alice for the answer to part B. Here's our third part, C. What is the total distance in kilometers that Ben, Alice, and Walter walked? Show or explain how you got your answer. So go ahead and pause and solve part C now. Come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we know that we're finding the total distance and be careful, this time they're telling us to do this in kilometers. So in the previous two parts, we took kilometers and converted it to meters. We don't wanna do that here. So we know that we're doing Ben, Alice, and Walter, the total distance all three together. So we're gonna find the distance in kilometers for Ben and add Alice in kilometers and add Walter in kilometers. So Ben walked 1.2 kilometers. Alice walked 85 hundredths of a kilometer. And Walter, uh-oh, his is given in meters. So we need to take our meters and convert it to kilometers for Walter. So when we do meters, we're going to kilometers. So let's take a break from this and go back and look at this. We're gonna take Walter's 50 meters and we get to convert it to kilometers. So let's go back to our King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. We're looking for meters, which is right here. And we're going to know that when we're going from kilometers to meters, we're multiplying. But when we go from meters to kilometers, we are going to divide. So we have, we know about kilometers and meters, but we're going from meters to kilometers this time. So now we need to focus on the direction that we're going. These arrows are going this way. That's how you read this table. So now instead of multiplying by a thousand, we are going to divide by a thousand. So when we do 50 divided by thousand, I'm taking the decimal point that's invisible and right here, and I'm going three decimal places to the left. It's getting smaller by three digits. So I need to add a zero here. So here it was right here, one, two, three. So we know that it's 0 0.05 or five hundredths of a kilometer. So now we can go back to our part C and add that in here. And we know that Walter walked five hundredths or 0 0.05 kilometers. So now we need to add them all together. So go ahead over here, Ben 1.2, Alice 0 0.85, and Walter 0 0.05, and we're gonna fill in our zeros. Now these weren't significant in this column. You didn't need to have those. If you didn't, that's fine. So we're going to add all our zeros that are zero, then zero plus five plus five is 10, so zero and carry our one. One plus two is three, plus eight is 11, one and carry the one, one plus one, is two and bring down our decimal point. So remember when you add, you line up your decimal point and you bring it down into where it belongs in your digits. So we have 2.1. We don't need, these are not significant zeros at the end. So we know that together all three, Ben, Alice, and Walter walk 2.1 kilometers. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow, subscribe, and have a great day.